Today's lesson is an eye opener, quite literally, and it will change how you hit the golf ball. 95% of PGA Tour players are cross-eye dominant. Now, eye dominance, how does this even affect your golf swing? Does it really matter? For years, I've struggled with this problem of looking at the golf ball. Whenever I look down at the ball, I would feel like I'm seeing a couple club faces. And this is crazy, it's like parallax. It's like these, these lines are crossing. It would drive me nuts. On the putting green, I wasn't sure where the face was pointed. And it didn't make me feel really confident standing over a golf ball. But here's another thing. It also affects how you swing the club. So, with my right eye dominance, the, the eye that's behind the ball, what started happening with me is I automatically would start aiming more and more and more to the right without even thinking about it. Another thing that would happen is that I would start swinging more and more in to out this way. So I'd hit a lot of hooks, a lot of pushes, a lot of pulls. And it wasn't satisfying because I'm missing the fairway. And, and, and you just don't know when that shot's going to come up. You're struggling to play good golf. But I never thought it was my eyes until one day I said I had enough. I feel like I'm looking at two faces down here, two club faces. It's like having two different golf swings. So what I did was I just took my right eye out of it. I closed my right eye. All of a sudden, I made a swing. Boom, right up the proper path. And then I hit a ball. I even hit a ball like this, and it was so silky smooth. Close the eye, take the... Oh my goodness, I, I took it out of play. And it's gone, it's straight. The swing felt different, of course, but I didn't feel like I was swinging out this way. I felt like I was swinging more down towards the target. The strike was amazing. The ball didn't hook. I did it with the putter. I started making more putts. So here's what I do now, because it really changed everything for me. And I want you to think about this. It's such a big deal. One thing that a lot of people don't know about me is I started out as a left-handed golfer. They just didn't have left-handed clubs in the early, early 90s, you know how it was. And so my dad switched me to right-handed, but my swing used to be like this, because I'm right eye dominant. I'd be looking down at the ball, like this, and I'd swing back. And when I looked at my left-handed swing, I was like, man, it always goes up the proper path. Now, don't copy this left-handed swing. I haven't done this since I was a child. But the idea was, I just swing left-handed and the path's always good. Like, why? Why is the path good? Why? That's the positions I want to hit in my right-handed swing. Because my right eye is on the target side. My dominant eye is facing the target. And all of a sudden, everything gets all whacked when my, my non-dominant eye is now on the target side. So I switch where my left eye is. Now my left eye is target side, right-handed. Now it's all this again. So here's what I did to fix the problem. And it's gonna sound kind of crazy. I took my eye out of it. I turned my head a little bit. Now Jack Nicholas was known for doing this in the golf swing. He would turn his neck. But what this did, it eliminates my dominant eye. So it doesn't interfere with my swing. So I'll swing like this. I'll set up like this and I'll swing. And I'll stripe it. And I'm swinging more to the target. I'm not, try I'm not swinging in such a way that I'm going to hook the ball. And then I can do it again. Now, I'm really exaggerating it here to get a, a, feel of a feeling of a swing that goes more towards the target. And you see the ball just murdered out there. No mercy on that golf ball. Now, another thing that started happening, I was a little worried about how my, my right eye was starting to do this in the golf swing because it was so dominant. I'd start having my head turn out this way to see the ball out of my dominant eye. So I'd swing like this. It was kind of backwards. Well, another thing that started happening, when I took out my dominant eye, as I swung, I could get more tilt. So better relationship with the ball because I always struggle with a little bit of a loss of tilt. It means contact wasn't as crisp when I did that. So this allowed me to tilt, get my, shoulder, my lead shoulder down more, but it also gave me a lot more turn. I felt like this was the most turn I had in years, and the ball was getting explosive off the club, off the tee, straight, far, all by taking out my dominant eye. And this really applies to you if you are someone who is not cross-eye dominant. So if you're a right-handed player and and your left eye is dominant, you're lucky. But I'd say most of us who shoot with a gun, I'm, I'm right eye dominant, so I shoot a gun this way. Well, that's because 
that's the eye I would use to do that, and that's the eye that works for me, but I could never shoot a gun with my left eye. So turning the head to where I only see the ball with my left eye, and I swing, and I stripe it. Now it looks freaky, right? You look at it and say, Tom, you got an eye problem, whatever. It doesn't matter. For years, I'd struggled with my eye sabotaging my swing. Those two very different swings. Now, when I go back to, to looking at the ball with both eyes, I automatically feel like I can't see this club face as well as I do with just my left eye. So I feel like I'm seeing two club faces. Either it's going straight or it's going right. So then I swing. Now, same golfer here, just a different eye being in play. I'm not sure if that swing looks different, but I certainly feel different. I feel an urge with both eyes, I feel the urge to go more out this way. For me to get the club going towards the target, I've got to swing more across the ball. I don't like the feeling, but it's the feeling I've got to have. So all of a sudden, there's a good golf swing with my non-dominant eye, and there's a questionable one with my dominant eye. Now, what does this mean for you? It's something to think about because it's never talked about. I've seen a couple articles online. They say, you know, eye dominance, but they don't talk about what it does. And if you're somebody who has a dominant eye and it's on the non-target side, like me, if you're right-handed and your right eye is dominant, this could be sabotaging your golf swing. It could be why you're slicing the ball. It could be why you're struggling with your swing because the moment I took my, my dominant eye out, the swing was fine. But the moment I introduced it again, the swing got crazy, or at least it felt like it was out of control. I couldn't see the club as well. So think about taking out your dominant eye with a little head tilt, just seeing it out of your left eye, your lead eye, the target side eye, and swinging. It's gonna feel weird, but this could be the swing that you need. To, to get cross-eye dominant, like the pros. Because if 95% of them are cross-eye dominant, they're seeing things that people like me are not seeing. I'm seeing two club faces. I'm seeing two golf swings here. To eliminate the problem of having two golf swings, I take out the dominant eye. And the ball just flies beautifully. So, Segudo so golfers, that's something to think about. At moving forward, a little bit more psychological today. And if you're looking for a way to play the best golf of your life, check out my online golf school, segudo.golf. It's a complete golf swing training program designed to help you play the best golf of your life. Life is too short to play bad golf, so start playing the best golf of your life with Segudo Golf. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future episode.